just like his ranking in the all-time greatest players in NBA history list, LeBron James was on the second best AAU team this century, the Oakland Soldiers. The, <laughs> the nucleus of the All-Ohio Red Team, they played together for three consecutive summers. So, even though they don't have the star power of some of the teams on this list, their continuity led to incredible results on the floor, going 201-9 and nine over that course of time. It reminds me of the documentary The Spoils because the Compton Magic, they were together for so long, it led to incredible results on the floor, culminating in the 2018 National Championship. And the All-Ohio Red Team, they were led by future Ohio State Buckeye standouts Jared Soldier, Jordan Siebert, and Aaron Kraft. Plus, they also had Michigan State stud and future NBA player Adrian Payne. And on top of that, they also had at guard West Virginia standout Jawan Stanton. Anytime you can go 8-0 in the legendary Peach Jam, you are an absolute powerhouse of an AAU squad, even though... The Adidas champion, Compton Magic, featured in the new documentary, The Spoils, they did beat the Nike Peach Jam champion team takeover by two points. But this Oakland Soldier squad, they were different. They had three future NBA players on their roster in Aaron Gordon, Stanley Johnson, and Jabari Bird. They absolutely annihilated teams. And in that 8-0 run in the Peach Jam, they beat squads led by Nerlens Noel, another one led by Andrew Wiggins, and another one led by future NBA All-Star Julius Randle. And on top of these three future pros, they also featured three other players on their squad that played Division I college basketball. This Kansas City-based AAU team had five future NBA draft picks to go along with a McDonald's All-American and future UCLA standout in Jaron Rush, much like the Mobley brothers who are featured in the new incredible basketball documentary, The Spoils, Jaron played alongside his brother Kareem, who would go on to have a 10-year NBA career. On top of that, they also had Corey Maggette, who would go on to be a star at Duke before becoming a first-round pick and was an integral part of the We Believe Warriors. And then at point guard, they had a future UCLA standout and 14-year NBA veteran and Phoenix Suns head coach Earl Watson. And then they had a guy that became the first McDonald's All-American to commit to Texas. He scored 1,600 points and had 800 rebounds. This team was so good that a future NBA Rookie of the Year, Mike Miller, tried out for the team and he got cut. If you don't know who Randy Livingston is, you better recognize because this guy was the number one ranked high school player in the entire country. Much like Evan Mobley, who's featured in the new fantastic basketball documentary, The Spoils. He was rated ahead of guys like Jerry Stackhouse and Rasheed Wallace. In fact... Randy Livingston is one of five players ever to be named the National Player of the Year on two different occasions, joining Lou Alcindor, LeBron James, Greg Oden, and Jerry Lucas. In fact, this guy went to Newman High School in New Orleans at the same time as Peyton Manning, but injuries, they derailed his career, so he never lived up to his fullest expectations. But on his AAU team, he was also joined by Kerry Kittles, who was a number eight pick in the NBA draft, who the Nets selected over Kobe Bryant. And on top of that, the point was ran by Scotty Thurman, who was a part of that Arkansas National Championship game. He was the guy who hit the go-ahead shot to put Arkansas in front of Duke in order to win that title game. Trey Young and Michael Porter Jr. were the best duo in the entire country during the summer of 2016. With these two stars averaging a combined 50 points per game with Porter Jr. adding an additional 11.4 rebounds and Young 7.4 assists per game. This reminds me an awful lot of the new basketball documentary The Spoils that follows around another dynamic duo in Evan Mobley and Aneko Okwangu because the Mokin Elites run during the 2016 summer, they won the Peach Jam title going a perfect 8-0 with Michael Porter Jr. and Trey Young combining for 60 points in the title game. But these two superstars, they were not alone because the rest of the roster featured 
five Division I players, including Derek Walker, who just led Nebraska to the NCAA tournament after leading the team in points, rebounds, and assists. This team had four McDonald's All-Americans. There are only 24 players selected to those teams every single year, and this AAU squad had four of them. Not even the Compton Magic, featured in the new terrific basketball documentary, The Spoils, had that many All-Americans. And they were so good. They won the national championship in 2000, and they were rated as the number one team in the country. In fact, they had a future prep to pro player in Tyson Chandler, who just one year later would be the number two pick in the NBA draft. And on the front line next to him was the seven foot one Jamal Sampson, who would go on and play in the NBA. And then at small forward, they had a future number six overall pick of the Atlanta Hawks in Josh Childress, who would play professionally for 16 years. And that is before we even talk about how they had UCLA standout Cedric Bozeman and Isaiah Fox, who was a stud at Arizona. They went 72-0 and in the summer of 2001. They were the undisputed national champions, much like the 2018 Compton Magic, who are featured in the new terrific basketball documentary called The Spoils. They were loaded with future NBA talent. Guys like Raymond Felton, P.J. Tucker, Rashad McCants, David Noel, and Carmelo Anthony, able to attract this star-studded roster because Reebok poured a ton of money into the team in order to get guys to come from hundreds of miles away. In fact, Felton, McCants, and Mello, they all played on secondary AAU teams, but when they were together, they were unstoppable because Felton's combination of size and speed made him a menace to opposing defenses. Then you couple it with McCants' shooting and Carmelo's three-level scoring and a bench littered with NBA and Division I players. There was nobody beating the North Carolina Gators in the summer of 2001. In 1996, Dwayne Wade was already playing for the Illinois Warriors. That summer, his top two teammates were future NBA players Quinton Richardson and Bobby Simmons. A few summers later, this Nike-based team, they would win the AAU National Championship, much like the 2018 Compton Magic featured in the new basketball documentary, The Spoils. And that summer, Wade's top teammate was Darius Miles, who one year later would become a prep-to-pro prospect, jumping directly from high school to the NBA, being drafted number three overall by the Los Angeles Clippers. And that summer is when scouts became enamored with Darius Miles because of his ability to play all five positions, even playing the point guard for this Illinois Warriors squad. You coupled it with Wade being the most underrated recruit in the entire nation, plus they had three other Division I players. They only lost one game the entire summer, and that was in the Peach Jam Final against Riverside Church, New York City, a team they had beat earlier in the summer by 48 points. The state of Washington is a sleeping giant for pro prospects. It is the most underrated basketball state in the entire country. They've produced NBA legends like John Stockton, Brandon Roy, Jamal Crawford, and current players like NBA All-Star Zach Levine and Jaden McDaniels. And this 2004 Friends of Hoop Seattle team is the greatest AAU team ever assembled from the state of Washington. Just like the team featured in the new basketball documentary, The Spoils, might be the greatest AAU team ever assembled in the state of California. And this Friends of Hoop Seattle team was led by big man Spencer Hawes, who was absolutely dominant, the number one big man in the country and a future NBA lottery pick. He was flanked by prep to pro sharpshooter Martel Webster and future NBA MVP candidate Isaiah Thomas. And if that wasn't enough, he was joined in the front court by future NBA player Jonathan Brockman. And they won the Vegas Big Time Tournament, winning in the championship game by 17 points, defeating a team led by Kevin Durant and Ty Lawson. This Houston Hoops team had three players all ranked in the top 20 of their ESPN 100 class in 2014. And all three of these guys happened to play small forward in Justin Jackson, 
Justice Winslow, and Kelly Oubre. Not even the 2018 Compton Magic featuring the new basketball documentary, The Spoils, had that many players featured that highly in the ESPN rankings. And I didn't even mention the two juniors on their team that were ranked in the top 20 of the 2015 rankings in future NBA lottery pick De'Aaron Fox and Kalen Turner. Overall, this Houston Hoops team, they had four NBA lottery picks, and they played on the Nike circuit, going 20-3 and three throughout the course of the entire summer, losing in the Peach Jam Championship game to a team that was led by future Syracuse standout Malachi Richardson and future Villanova standout and NBA stud Mikhail Bridges. Terrence Robertson from Saginaw, Michigan is one of four players ever to be named a Parade All-American on three different occasions, along with Earl Jones, LeBron James, and Luel Cinder. But the craziest thing is, he's not even close to the best player on his AAU team. Much like the Compton Magic featuring the new basketball documentary, The Spoils, this team, Michigan squad, had a set of twin towers on the front line in Robert Tractor Trailer, who is most famous for being drafted number six overall by the Dallas Mavericks and then traded on draft night for an unknown European by the name of Dirk Nowitzki and Kevin Garnett who became the first player to jump directly from high school to the pros since Daryl Dawkins did it in 1975. And then on top of that, they had another NBA player in Jermaine Jackson, plus two other high-level Division I players all on this Team Michigan squad. James White who would play at University of Cincinnati and then go on to have a 15-year professional basketball career, he was on this D.C. Assault team, but he said... He didn't play a single second the entire summer because the squad was so loaded, but he still received college letters from coaches because they saw him dunking in warm-ups. Yeah, I'd imagine players on the new basketball documentary, The Spoils, felt the same way playing for the Compton Magic, but this DC Assault team featured five future NBA players, including high school national player of the year, DeMar Johnson, who would go on to be the number six pick in the NBA draft, and Keith Bogans, who would play at Kentucky before having a 14-year NBA career, and Rodney White, who became the number nine pick in the NBA draft, and Joe Forte, who was an absolute stud at North Carolina before becoming the last pick in the first round of the legendary Red Auerbach's career. This Adidas-sponsored squad featured two of the top 10 players in the entire country in Dennis Smith Jr. and Bam Adebayo. Similar to another Adidas-sponsored squad, the Compton Magic featuring the new basketball documentary, The Spoils. Team Loaded also had the Martin Twins, Caleb and Cody, who are still in the league to this day, performing at a high level. They were accompanied by Sean Kirk. He was a rim-rattling YouTube sensation who would go on to join Smith Jr. at NC State. And his dunks over the course of this summer, they went viral, almost overshadowing how dominant this team loaded actually was on their way to winning the AAU National Championship, defeating the AAU powerhouse program, the Atlanta Celtics. With three future NBA first-round picks on their roster and another McDonald's All-American, the New York Guanchos of 1988 were absolutely loaded, similar to the 2018 Compton Magic featured in the new terrific basketball documentary, The Spoils. The Guanchos, they were led by a teenage prodigy, a six foot one point guard by the name of Kenny Anderson. He was so good, he was receiving scholarship offers to colleges before he even entered high school. Long before Stefan Marbury and Sebastian Telefair took New York City by storm, Kenny Anderson was the guy. He was considered one of the greatest high school players the city had ever produced. He he was accompanied by future Kentucky star and NBA All-Star Jamal Mashburn. And in the middle, they had Conrad McNasty McRae, whose vicious dunks in the summer of 1988 became the thing of legend. They were so good that this high school team actually beat the Russian junior national team by double digits. Strength in numbers. This AAU team had seven 
future NBA players and 13 high level division one players. They are considered one of the greatest teams ever assembled in the state of California, arguably greater than the 2018 Compton Magic who are featured in the new tremendous basketball documentary, The Spoils. They are also considered the first super team in AAU basketball with guys like Chris Mills, Sean Rooks, and Derek Martin. But these players, years later, they credited more than their talent, their teamwork, for their on-the-court success, stating that they all played together as one over the course of two summers, only losing two games total, and that trumped any talent that they had because they all wanted each other to succeed on the floor. A new documentary on AAU basketball called The Spoils was presented to me, and the filmmakers actually let me watch the movie before I agreed to sign on to talk about it, and <laughs> it's awesome, guys. Seriously. What other documentary have you seen following around a basketball program, one of the elite ones in the entire country, for 10 years? And that basketball program, while they're filming them, wins a national championship. And you see these young players as they blossom into superstars and future NBA lottery picks. Guys like the number three overall pick, Evan Mobley. You get to see Mikey Williams, the YouTube sensation, as he navigates the new NIL deals. Plus, you get to see the guys who were at UCLA that went all the way to the national championship game in Jaime Hawkes and Johnny Juzang. And you get to see LaMelo Ball's favorite teammate at Chino Hills in Aneko Okwangu. You get to see all of these guys grow up before your very eyes. I cannot recommend to you guys enough to go check out the spoils. The link is in my bio. It is an absolutely fantastic basketball documentary that I know all of you are going to absolutely love. This team featured... Back-to-back -back number one overall picks in the NBA draft in Joe Smith and Allen Iverson. Not surprisingly, they won the 1992 AAU National Championship. Much like the 2018 Compton Magic featured in the new terrific basketball documentary, The Spoils. And during that national championship run, a junior by the name of Allen Iverson would emerge as an absolute superstar being named the MVP of the 57-team tournament, leading them to a perfect 8-0 record on their way to the title, beating teams led by future NBA players like Jerry Stackhouse. And then, in the title game, they beat a team led by future NBA Defensive Player of the Year, Alonzo Mourning, trailing by nine points in the second half. That's when Joe Smith absolutely dominated Alonzo Mourning, solidifying himself as one of the best big men in the entire country. After the Specie Heat defeated my pathetic AAU basketball team by 44 points in the car after the game, my father said to me that the gap between the 99.9 and the 99 percentile is a larger gap than the 99th percentile and the 50th percentile. So even though I may have been in the 99th percentile in this sport, I was never getting to the 99.9 .9 percentile because that's where those guys were. And I was nowhere near there. I think my father was telling me nicely that I sucked at basketball and I should give up on my dreams. He wasn't wrong because that game was more of a massacre than the storming of Normandy Beach. I mean, fuck, even Mark Titus hit five three-pointers on us in garbage time. I mean, I'm sure a lot of shitty basketball teams like mine felt the same way over the years playing the Compton Magic, who are now featured in a new basketball documentary called The Spoils, because this Specie Heat team had the number one overall pick in the NBA draft in Greg Oden, the number four pick in the same draft in Mike Conley Jr., plus future NBA players Eric Gordon, Daquan Cook, and Josh McRoberts. And Cook, Oden, and Conley, in their freshman year at Ohio State, they led the Buckeyes all the way to the national championship game. California is the mecca of AAU basketball with what the state's best program is being in the eyes of the beholder. Is it the Oakland Soldiers or the SoCal All-Stars or the Compton Magic featured in the new basketball documentary, The Spoils? I don't know. 
But what I do know is, in the summer of 2006, on the SoCal All-Stars, a pick-and-roll ran between Brandon Jennings and Kevin Love had to arguably be the deadliest combo the high school circuit had ever seen because this team was nearly unstoppable. They lost two games total the entire summer, both of which came when Kevin Love was sitting out. And they also won every single tournament they entered, including the Vegas Big Time Tournament, where in the semifinals, they beat a team led by Derrick Rose. And then in the championship game, they beat a team led by future NBA players, OJ Mayo and Tyreek Evans. Just like his ranking in the all-time greatest players in NBA history list, LeBron James was on the second best AAU team this century, the Oakland Soldiers. This squad was so good, they probably would have beat the national champions from 2018 Compton Magic, featured in the new basketball documentary, The Spoils. They had three of the top 10 prospects in the entire nation, including two prep to pro prospects in the phenom, LeBron James and Kendrick Perkins. Plus, they had a dude nicknamed The Show in Leon Poe, whose rugged athleticism used to electrified crowds. He is most famous for coming off the bench and helping the Boston Celtics win the 2008 NBA championship. And that summer, the Oakland Soldiers, they didn't lose a single game winning every single tournament they entered together with the summer that LeBron James played in the Bay becoming the thing of legends. I sat next to Dwight Howard during the Vegas Big Time Tournament during one of those meetings where they run you through the do's and don'ts of college recruitment, something that really didn't pertain to either of us for very, very different reasons because he was on the Atlanta Celtics and they won every single game in that tournament by over 20 points. And when the all-tournament team was announced, four of the five players on it were from his AAU team. And as I'm sitting there listening to this guy ramble on about something that doesn't pertain to me, I look over at Dwight, who was easily the largest human being I had ever seen in my entire life with the broadest shoulders. And he still had braces for some reason. And I'm thinking to myself, how in the hell are we the same age? And it was in that moment that I realized that I really needed to focus on my career as an accountant because there was no way in hell I was ever going to make it in basketball. And I'm sure a lot of people have felt the same way after playing Evan Mobley, the star of the new basketball documentary, The Spoils, because this Atlanta Celtics team was absolutely stacked. They had five future NBA players, including prep to pro number one overall pick Dwight Howard, prep to pro first round pick Josh Smith, Randolph Morris, a killer on and off the floor in Javaris Crin, and a future Kansas Jayhawk stud in Brandon Rush. Think about those Fab Five Michigan teams that were led to the national championship game in back-to-back -back seasons by a bunch of freshmen and then sophomores and take that core of that team with Jalen Rose, Jawan Howard, and Chris Weber, and then sub out Ray Jackson and Jimmy King for future NBA players Vashawn Leonard and Sean Respert, and that is what you had in the AAU team Super Friends Michigan in the summer of 1989. I'm going to go out on a limb here and say not even the Compton Magic featuring the new basketball documentary The Spoils could even compete with this squad because Outside of that starting five, they also had five other Division I players coming off the bench. So not surprisingly, they won the 1989 AU National Championship game with Weber scoring 31 points and grabbing 15 rebounds in the title game. They then won the AAU Junior Olympics Championship with Weber having 38 points and 27 rebounds in the championship game. The greatest front line in the history of high school basketball, not even the Compton Magic, featuring the new basketball documentary, The Spoils, could even compete with the Riverside Church New York City squad that featured Ron Artest, Lamar Odom, and Elton Brand. And to go along with them, they had future NBA player Eric Banks and 
four other Division I players. They won every single tournament they entered in the summer of 1996, going a 69-1 and record. They even won the legendary Peach Jam title, beating the DC Assault. Their only loss of the entire summer was in the Slam and Jam in Long Beach, where they lost to Team California, led by Baron Davis and future NBA players Jaron and Jason Collins. However, after losing to them, they would meet them again in the championship game of that same tournament, and they would beat them by over 20 points. This is the greatest AAU basketball team that you've never heard of. Long before the shoe-sponsored super teams like the Compton Magic, who are featured in the new basketball documentary, The Spoils, there was a wealthy businessman who was the president of First Progressive Bank in New Orleans that wanted to form an AAU team to challenge his young son, who was a promising basketball player. And what he found was a bunch of country kids from the state of Louisiana that were unknown to college recruiters. Guys like Carl Malone and Joe Dumars. In fact, one of the players asked to be on the team, future college player Benny Anders, he was asked, did he know anybody that would be good for this team? And he said he had a buddy that lived down the street in a trailer named Hot Rod Williams who liked to play basketball. Hot Rod Williams would go on to have a 14-year NBA career. And Benny Anders, he was a key member of the five Slamma Jamma Houston teams with Hakeem Olajuwon and Clyde Drexler. And Joe Dumars and Carl Malone, they both became NBA Hall of Famers with Carl Malone breaking records and being named one of the top 75 basketball players of all time. And none of this would have ever been possible without this AAU team that gave a bunch of country boys a shot at getting seen and changing their lives forever. And to me, that is the beauty of basketball. Imagine for a second, it's the summer of 1994, long before social media and the internet, and you're a basketball star in your hometown with visions of going pro, much like the players featured in the new basketball documentary, The Spoils. And the school bell rings on a Friday, and it signals the end of another week, and the weekend is upon us, one in which you have a basketball tournament starting the next day on Saturday morning. And you wake up that morning, you're so excited, you get onto the court, ready to showcase your talents, and you look at the guy across from you, and you see at point guard a guy by the name of Kobe Bryant. You look to your left, then to your right, back to your left and right again, and you see Vince Carter and Rip Hamilton. You think, wow, that's pretty intimidating. But it only gets worse because those aren't even the best players on the team. That would be the guy jumping center, the number one ranked high school player in the entire country in Tim Thomas. In that moment, as a young player with visions of grandeur, your mind begins to race, and you think to yourself, I wonder how hard it is to go to college and graduate with a business degree. 